Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to make a little mop bucket. Super simple, super easy. Um, this has got to be one of the easiest things and this is going to go along with the one minute crafts. Next time you're at the store and you're out eating some breakfast or whatever or you stop into the 7-Eleven and you get a um, coffee, save your container, okay? So what I want you to do is save it and then bring it home. And you want to go ahead and cut this right here off just this little bit just like that okay now once you've done that you want to take something pointy be careful not to get your finger just gently poke a hole through there now this has a sanding thing on it so I can sand it as I'm going. That's why I'm using this. All right, that's on one side. Now I'm gonna go directly across from it and I'm gonna go ahead and poke a hole right in that side. Careful not to hit my finger. lightly sand it and if you have a tiny hole punch that'll fit in here you could do that too just be careful not to bend the top here because they do make really tiny holes for hole punches or really tiny hole punches for making tiny holes okay so once you have that done you want to get yourself some wire it doesn't matter what kind of wire you use just get something um, that's relatively thin enough to bend. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and use some of this. It doesn't matter what gauge. Um, it's totally preference on what you want. All right, so I just cut a piece to start with. Then the craft store sells this really cool um, bending wire set for jewelry. If you go there, you'll see that. But if you don't have this, that's not a big deal. You can just use anything round. It's not a big deal at all. All right, so you want to bend them to where they're pretty much even at the end. All right, now once you do that, you want to take your pliers. Go ahead and you're going to be putting them in here. So when you bend it, you want to bend it inward. Okay, try to put it in the same spot. So what I would recommend doing is get yourself a Sharpie or something that you can write with and kind of mark where you have it. That way you can put it in the same spot every time. All right, now I'm gonna bend that in. Same way there. And they're about the same size, if you can see. All right, then I'm gonna feed it in there. And I'm gonna feed it in there now I've got a handle for my bucket all right but I want my bucket handle to stay in so once I have it in I'm gonna bend this upward just a tiny bit more all right and then you want to do the same thing to the other side careful when it pops out make sure you put it back in all right now it may have to oops, ah, have to refix that because it will pop out really easily and you'll break your thing but you get the point here hang on I gotta fix this and bend it back out be careful when you're doing it because this is very very thin plastic All right, so then there's your bucket, just like that. So you can use it for your mop or whatever. You can kind of just turn it around, paint it. All right, sorry about that. I walked away to get the mop. So here's the mop. You can kind of just put it in there, mop it, whatever. All right, so then once that's done, then you'll have 
your mop bucket. And this mop, you can see it up close. There is a tutorial on how to make this. Okay, so if you want to make this mop, go ahead under my um, page and you'll find it. It's really cool. It's like, I don't know, it kind of reminds me of real mop. Maybe you don't think so, but I think so. All right, so here it is there, and then there's your mop bucket. Just be careful because I did um, crack it, so I'll make another one. And it may be a wise idea if you want, if yours are really thin like mine, to double it up. And you can do that very easily. And I'm also using micro tip scissors to cut this so that it actually has the ability to cut very thin areas. Now if you double it up, then you would just put one bucket inside the other. And you don't have to worry about crazy gluing it or anything like that because it literally is going to stay. It's not going to go nowhere. Okay, so now I'm going to just, since I decided to double it up since I broke that one, and make it a little bit sturdier, I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut my hole open through this one. But that's it. That's all you have to do. Um, I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. I hope you enjoyed it, and I honestly hope that you don't break yours like I just did, and you have to do it again. But remember, if you do, I mean, this is an almost free project to do for dollhousing. It literally won't cost you much at all to do it. Just because you can recycle this part, and I'm sure there's something that comes in the mail or something that you bought that has some kind of wire on it, even like the twisty ties that they do for trash cans would even work. So just go ahead and remember to save them. I have a whole drawer full of what I call my whatnots. I don't know what it's not going to go on or what it will go on, but it's a whatnot. Because who knows? It's just saved until a later day. And then I will find it. Now, I will tell you this. I have a couple different recyclables back here. And this is going to end up being a chocolate fountain. And that's all recyclables. Alright. Well, there you go. Much better bucket. Alright. Thanks a lot. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. I will see you next time. Like and subscribe. Click the bell to be notified. Take care.